Hello everyone. We are Web Dev for Use team. This is Hamad Shwehi presenting with Aaron King, Abdullah Bueno, Hamad Zahabi, and Kyler Spell. We worked on a project that may help everyone live more comfortably and save time. Make List, a straightforward online application that is made for making and sorting lists of grocery items. The web app aims to simplify the grocery shopping process from planning to actual purchasing. Make list will enable you to quickly locate the items you require among several grocery stores. Different grocery lists can be created and used at a later time. The best aspect though is that they may also be shared with others. The team is going to cover a few aspects of the Make List app. First, we will discuss the challenges and that the app will be able to address. Following that, we will talk about the technologies that were used to finish the project. And finally, there will be a demo of our project. Hello everybody, I'm Aaron King and this is the first problem and use case for the Bakelist Grocery app. Imagine for a moment a college student named Sarah. Sarah has an exceptional memory, but she also has a very busy life. She has to juggle classes, work, and extracurricular activities. When she goes shopping, even with her sharp memory, she often forgets to buy essential items because she doesn't have a consistent and well-organized reference. Many people, including Sarah, now resort to using the Notes app on their phone or pen and paper to keep track of their shopping lists, but these methods are disorganized and inconvenient. Additionally, other factors such as brand preferences, determining the optimal quantity to buy, and finding the best places to purchase these items make the shopping process even more challenging. As such, there is a need to address the challenge of organized and consistent shopping for busy individuals like Sarah to optimize their shopping experience. MakeList is the perfect solution for managing all of these problems with ease. It is a highly organized platform that makes managing your grocery list a breeze. With MakeList, Sarah can input the details that matter to her the most, ensuring that she never forgets to buy essential items again. The platform is easily accessible and simple to use, allowing her to make changes to her list with just a few clicks. Whether you're a busy college student like Sarah, a working professional, or a parent with a full schedule, MakeList is the ideal tool to optimize your shopping experience. Hello, I am Abdullah Bueno, and I will be discussing the second scenario for the MakeList use case problem. Josh is a busy professional athlete who needs to manage his eating habits, being that he needs to stay in top shape to perform during practices and games. However, he does not have a lot of time to plan his meals, nor does he have time to create grocery lists. He decides that he wants to figure out a way to fit these things into his busy schedule. Josh comes across the Makeless app and finds that it is the perfect solution to his problem. Sunday afternoon is the best time for him to plan his meals and grocery lists, so he decides to take that time out of the day to do so. Josh is not a very experienced shopper, but with the help of Makeless, he is able to view items in other grocery lists to make simple lists of items to purchase every week. Additionally, he has set up his account setting preferences to match his dietary needs as an athlete. With MakeList in hand, he heads to the store to find everything he needs. This makes him feel accomplished and relieved, knowing that he won't have to stress during the week about planning meals or grocery shopping. With all these tools, Josh is able to plan his week better and purchase things for the week that he plans to cook. Hello everyone, I'm Hamad al zaabi and I'm going to talk about technologies we use for our project. I will start with the stack that we have used, which is Mern stack. The client side of our application was created using React, and the server side we used Node.js. In addition, we used NoSQL database to store data of our application and is known as MangoDB. 
Let's start talking about the client side more. So we have used several styling stacks that include Bootstrap for React and NG Prime React. We decided to use React because it enhances the SEO of our website and it's more around trip time for client side HTTP requests. Also, we can apply more building CSS and validations. We can also easily manipulate DOM. And for the server side, we have used Node.js and Express to create APIs. API is the endpoint which interact with our database and client side. One reason that made us to choose Node.js, it's easy to create authentication and authorization. Bcrypt is used for encryption and decryption of passwords. Also, we use Firestore Cloud Storage to store users and application images. Deployment and other technologies. We have deployed client side of our application on Netlify and it's linked with our GitHub repo. Every time we push the code to our repo, new build created on Netlify for latest changes. We have deployed APIs on Heroku. Now our APIs are available to to any authenticated and authorized users. We, ha we have used Git and GitHub for deployment. Welcome to MakeList. Today I'm going to be demoing the main feature set of MakeList by walking you through an example of how you might use it. I'll first sign in as myself to get started. Here we can see all of our profile options, like profile pictures and our name. But we're not going to mess with any of that right now and get straight to the core feature of this app, lists. We'll start by making a new one and giving it a name. My friend and I really like steak and rice, so let's put together a quick shopping list for that. I've added a name and the items to the list as well as giving them units and the amount that we need. You can also add a quick description. Let's quickly add my friend to this list so that he can edit and view to help plan. This menu allows us to quickly type in the email of anyone we'd like to give access to our list. Here we are on the account that we just gave access to. Let's go see if the new list is there. Sure enough, there it is. Let's go make some changes. This friend really likes chilies, so let's add them to the list. You can also search through these items. Let's find the missing element to this otherwise great meal. It looks like mustard isn't available, so we're gonna have to add a custom item. The custom item just needs a name, a quick description, a price, and an image to help you find it in the store. Looks like we're all set. Let's go and finish adding this item to our list. Now that the item is in our database, we can just add it easily by searching in our search bar. Looks like the new item doesn't have an aisle in our current grocery store. Let's go fix that. We can easily change the availability and aisles of the items in an individual store by locating the item and updating its values. Let's head back to our list and see the change. Sure enough, mustard now is on aisle seven. Let's give it a quantity and unit and let's go shopping. You can shop any list by selecting shop underneath its card on the list page. From here, you'll get all sorts of useful tools. Firstly, this metric or imperial slider. My friend prefers metric, so let's go change his default setting. Now, all his shopping will default to metric units and convert the units from whatever the original was. You can always switch back and forth with this toggle. Let's check some of the items off our list and keep moving. The next big feature of MakeList is meals. They allow you to store groups of items frequently bought together and quickly add them to all to a list. You can also store things like recipes and tags for these meals. Let's go ahead and make a meal for that amazing steak and rice dinner we made. We can also make our meal public so that anyone can see it. This is a great way to not only get feedback on your meals, but also find inspiration for your future meals. All you have to do is click this make public button to share with the world. 
Sure enough, here's our meal. Now back to our main account. On this account, we can find the meal and leave a review. All we have to do is leave our name, our email, and then write a quick review about how we felt. I think this meal turned out great, and I think it was the mustard that really made it special. We'll let them know. Back on the second account, we can see that there was a review made to our meal. Since that meal was so successful, it made it into my weekly rotation. Let's create a new shopping list because we're all out of steak and rice. Here, we're gonna show off the quick add function. If you have a meal in your account, you can add all of the items of that meal to your list in just one click. Just like that, all of our items are in our list and ready to be shopped. Now we can add other items or even other meals to round out our shopping. As you can see, MakeList has an incredible potential for simplification, enhancement, and inspiration for our grocery shopping experience. Thank you for your time during this presentation.